Welcome back. The previous video helped you to prepare your computer for NHSN enrollment. In this session, you'll learn the training and preparation steps that are required for the five-step NHSN enrollment process. First, let's go to the NHSN Enrollment for Outpatient Dialysis Facilities website. To get to this page, type https colon slash slash www.cdc.gov slash nhsn slash dialysis slash enroll.html in your browser. This takes you to the five-step enrollment for outpatient dialysis facilities CMS Quip page. On the five-step enrollment page, you'll find the facility enrollment checklist. This one-page document is a great reference to guide you through the entire registration and enrollment process. You should print this out and keep it handy, as you'll refer to it often. This video will focus on the tasks in the Step 1 Training and Preparation portion of the checklist. Looking at the Step 1 section, you'll see that you've previously completed the last two steps as part of the IT and Computer Setup video. Now, let's complete the first two steps. First, visit http colon slash slash www.cdc.gov slash nhsn slash training slash dialysis slash index.html. This will bring you to the Dialysis Component Training page. First, you must read the Dialysis Event Protocol, located here. Click the link to open and read the document, as it is a required part of training. Next, it is recommended that you watch the Introduction to the NHSN Dialysis Event Surveillance Protocol video. Click the video icon to visit the YouTube page and watch the video. This video is approximately 59 minutes long, so ensure you have enough time to complete it. Now, back on the Dialysis Component Training page, click the Dialysis Event Surveillance Annual Training link. This will open the National Healthcare Safety Network Dialysis Event Surveillance Computer-Based Training. Click Begin to start the training. Again, it is estimated that it will take approximately 60 minutes to complete this training, so ensure you have adequate time to finish it. When you return to the five-step enrollment for Outpatient Dialysis Facilities CMS Quip page, the next step is to print the Outpatient Dialysis Center Practices Survey form. You should print this form on paper and complete it manually by writing required information directly on the forms. Then, you'll have all the information needed to submit the forms electronically, which is required during step four of this process. The last document needed in step one is the NHSN Facility Administrator Enrollment Guide. This guide provides detailed enrollment information for the NHSN Facility Administrator and can be found at the top of the five-step enrollment for outpatient dialysis facilities CMS Quip page. Please note that the NHSN Facility Administrator is the only individual who can enroll your facility in NHSN or reassign the NHSN Facility Administrator role. Be sure to give this role to an individual who is authorized to perform these functions within your facility or organization. Once your facility is enrolled in NHSN, it is strongly recommended that a second person, and even a third person, be added to your facility as NHSN users. If the primary facility administrator is not available for any reason, the backup NHSN user can continue with the NHSN reporting work. You can add additional users after your facility is enrolled in NHSN, and the Facility Administrator Enrollment Guide outlines the steps needed to perform these tasks. Please take some time to review this enrollment document. You've completed Step 1. Thanks for watching this training video. You're now ready to move on to Step 2 and learn how to register your facility into NHSN.